Hello there, it's Anna here. Welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I will show you how to make this bear love blanket, security blanket. It's a very nice pattern to follow and I hope you really enjoy this. All informa information you may want to know is in the description box below with the full written pattern with all the measures and gouges and everything. I use for the bear the 4mm crochet hook and I use for the blanket the 5.5 millimeters crochet hook which is this one you cannot see the number here but yeah it's a 5.5 all right the description below there is links that may help you along the way this is the first pattern that i shoot this way so i'm not sure if i am very clear with everything but i really try my best i used for this pattern a super safer uh, red heart yarn you can use any yarn that you're used to work with all right uh, if you like this video leave me a like this will help me so so much and i really hope you enjoyed this pattern now let's move on and thank you for being here with me So first off, we'll start with the 4mm crochet hook and we will start working the bear, okay? So you're going to start with the magic ring. Here I'm going to show you how to make this magic ring. You give two loops in your finger, needle under the first yarn and over the second yarn, pull the yarn, inside the first string, yarn over, inside the loop, okay? There is a link in the description below to the video tutorial only showing you how to make the magic ring in case you need a better video only for that, all right? So here you will work four single crochet inside the magic ring. So yarn under the needle, inside the magic ring, under the needle, inside the two loops. I'm working with the single crochet with the yarn under because I want my stitches to be very closed and not having any stuffing material uh, living outside, okay? But you can work with yarn over technique for the single crochet if it's easier for you. Good, so here's my six single crochet. Pull tight to close the magic ring. And let's move on for the next row. And here for the second row you will work six increases. This means you will crochet two single crochet inside each stitch, okay? At the end of this round you should have 12 single crochet. So here I will show you how to make the two single crochet inside each stitch. This is a increase, okay? Again, there is a link in the description below with a video showing you specific, just a tutorial on how to increase in crochet toys. Great, now you secure the beginning of your yarn a little bit. This is how I make. 
this is just an extra um, securing the beginning of the yarn. So it makes completely sure that it's not going to unravel. It's up to you. I like to do that. And I will add a stitch marker here in my last stitch. Okay, so I know that this is the last stitch. All right. Now, for next row, uh, round number three, you will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so here you make one single crochet and one increase here on the stitch next to it. Okay, so you will crochet this all the way to the end. So one single crochet and one increase. We will make a couple of repetitions like this because we will grow our crochet toy six stitches in each round. Now you stop the video here, you continue and I will catch you up at the end. Great, this is how it should be looking like. Add your stitch marker here at the last stitch of the round and move on for round number four. So here you will work two single crochet and one increase. You will repeat six times and you should have 24 stitches, okay? So two single crochet and one increase on this next stitch. You will repeat all the way until the end and I will catch you up for the next round, all right? I suggest you to count how many stitches you have in every round so you make sure that you are on the track, okay? So this is the end of the second round. I will add the stitch marker here and I will continue for round number five. Here you will crochet three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times and you should have 30 stitches at the end of this round. So one, two, and three. And now you should have and one increase, of course. And you will crochet all the way to the end. Stop your video here, finish your round, and I will catch you up at the end. Okay, so here one, two, three, and this is the increase. All the way to the end, I will catch you up. Good, so this is how it should be looking like. I will add a stitch marker here. I'm not very much happy with this. The stitch marker is a little bit thick, but let's see. Maybe I will change. Okay, so for next round, you will crochet four single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this round. Okay. So again, it's all repetitions. You make four single crochet. Here I mean my fourth. And now one increase. Great. So again, you make all the way until the end and I will catch you up. All right, one, two, three, four, and one increase on the next stitch. So this is how it should be looking like. Now let's move on to the next round. Again, you continue with the repetitions. Five single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 42 stitches at the end of this round, all right? Here I will always show you how to do the first repetition and then you continue uh, off the camera because it's a long process and I don't want this video to be too many of the same, okay? So here one increase. Great. So here we have all the way to the round and I will catch you up. So this one I forgot to start recording before starting my round. So here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and one increase. Okay, you repeat this all the way to the end. And this is our last round with the increases. So I'll make one more here repetition just for you to see. 
because I did the first one off the camera. I forgot to turn it on, I'm sorry. So here now, six single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 48 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so here I am in my increase. Okay, super good. So I will continue this round and I will catch you up for next one. We will change a little bit in the next one. Great. So this is the final version of our increases. I will add my stitch marker here. And now for row 9 to 16, you will work only single crochet, okay? So this will give the height of the head, all right? So for round 9 to 16, just work 48 single crochet, okay? I will work these rows off the camera because it's just the same repetition and I will catch you up here at the end of the last round. Okay, my stitch marker is falling here. I will have to change this. I don't like very much these types of stitch marker. I don't know why I decided to use this. Okay, and I will catch you up here for the next uh, round, which is when we will start with the decreases. I will change this. It's not... I don't like this. I rather use a, just a piece of yarn, you know? Those stitch markers are better when you're crocheting a blanket or something like this but for this type it's not good okay great so i will catch you up for the next 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 <laughs> round once you finish with all the rounds with just single crochet and this is what we have here i just want to show you do you see this is the last round with increases and these are the rounds only with single crochet okay this is looking very nice now we will start working with the decreases okay so i'll add my very modern super nice stitch marker here and we will move on for the next round so here for the round number 17 you will work six single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 42 stitches at the end of this round. For crochet toys, I work with the invisible decrease. I will show you how it's done once we just finish the six single crochets here. But also there is a link in the description below with a tutorial only showing you how to make invisible decrease if you need better video and of course if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below all right so here you see the two next stitches is how we're going to do the decrease and you will grab instead of grabbing the complete stitch you will take only the front loop okay so here you take the front loop of one stitch and the front loop of the stitch next to it. So you should have three loops now on your needle. I continue working with yarn under. So I will take yarn under inside the two loops, yarn under inside the other two loops. So two stitches here became one, all right? So you continue this repetition all across this round. Great, so this is my last decrease. You see, two stitches here became one. I will add my stitch marker here and moving on for next round. And here again, the same. We continue with the decreases. Five single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this round, okay? So again here, Five single crochet and one 
the crease. Okay? Just front loop, yarn under, yarn under again inside the two loops. Great. I will repeat this and I will catch you up for next round. Super good. So we see here that it's decreasing and it's very nice. So I add my stitch marker here and I will move on for our next round where you work six single crochet, one decrease. You should have a total of uh, 30 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so again, you make six repetitions here. Good, this is my decrease. You stop the video here, you continue working in your round, and I will catch you up for the next one. Great, the head is getting some shape now. Add your stitch marker, and then let's move on for the next round. So here for round number 20, you will crochet three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this round. All right? So super easy, you just continue with this pattern until we have 12 stitches. We will go through that. Okay. This is how it should be looking like. Now let's go for the next round. So here, again, you will work with six repetitions. You will make two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times. You should have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. All right. And after that, we will stop a little bit to add stuffing material before we move on to round number 22, which is our last round. Okay. So this is the finish of the round 21. I will add some stuffing material here. You add as many as you want. And let's move on for our last round. And here you will work one single crochet, one decrease. You should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. You repeat, of course, six times, okay? Okay, one single crochet, one decrease. Great. So repeat this and I will catch you up so we can fasten off this head of our bear. Good, so this is the final round. It's looking nice. Now you cut the yarn here and you take a sewing needle. And here you pull the string and insert in the sewing needles one. For closing this, I will grab only the front loop of the 12 stitches, all right? So you insert your needle from outside in, taking only the front loop of the stitch, okay? There is also a video showing how I make my, how I fasten off my crochet toys in the description of this video. But here you can see pretty much that's it. You just grab the front loop. You don't need to pull the yarn very tight now. Just grab all the front loop from the 12 stitches. And then, once you're done, you pull it very strong. I mean, very strong, but in a way that you're not gonna <laughs> mess your toy. Okay? So now that is closed your last round, you will just double secure by grabbing the stitches from the last round. So here I will just grab like two stitches here and some two more and you will go working the circle here just to make nice and tight. All right. Okay. This is great. This is the 
beginning, this is the ending. And now I'll just hide this remaining tail and secure it a little bit more before I cut this string. All right. Okay, super good. Now let's cut this yarn. And we have here the head ready. You can squeeze it back to its shape because, you know, when we are crocheting, we are squeezing. So here we have the ending, and this is the beginning. All right. Now let's move on for the years. Here you already know the drill, so you just work six single crochet inside the magic ring. And we will basic follow the beginning of the head to do the years, okay? So here you work six single crochet in a magic ring. I will go fast this time because we already went through this step. Close tight and move on for a second round. Six increases. So you should have 12 stitches at the end of this round. Again, I will go fast forward here because you know how to make this. You've done it just a couple of minutes ago. Okay. Now you are secure, secure your yarn and let's move on for next round. You already know how to make this. So I'm going fast a little bit. So add your stitch marker. And next round you will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times. You should have a total of 18 stitches. And this will be the last round with increases for the years, okay? So here again I will go a little bit faster because you know how to make this. All the way until the end. All right, so this is the finished round. And moving on for next one. So now what you're gonna do is you will work for round number four to six, 18 single crochet. So three rounds, just 18 single crochet, and then you will are you are done with the year, all right? So these are the ears already finished. I will just fold this in half like this and cut the yarn, leave a tail for sewing and make another one, okay? For the snout, you make the same thing but instead of working for row one to six, you just work one extra round. This is very easy, so you make, I will not go all the way through. Here now we'll start with the arms. So here it will be a little bit different because you will work five single crochet inside the magic ring. So instead of working six single crochet, you just, instead of working, uh, yeah, six, you'll work with five single crochet here. So I'll go fast, five single crochet, close your magic ring and move for a second round where you're gonna work with increases. So you'll work here five increases and you should have a total of 10 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so this is super good. Add your stitch marker here and move on for the next one. And here you will work 
one single crochet, one increase, you repeat five times and you should have a total of 15 stitches at the end of this round. And this will be our last round with increases, okay? So here you already know the repetition. I will catch you up at the end of this round. So this is great. Add your stitch marker and let's start working only with single crochets, no increases anymore. So for row uh, round 4 to 12, you will work 15 single crochet. This will be the length of our arms. All right? So stop the video here, work all the way through your arm and I will catch you up at the end. So great. Now what's going to happen is you will start with the decreases, all right? So here you will decrease, you will make one single crochet, one decrease, repeat five times and you should have a total of 10 stitches at the end of this round, okay? So super easy, one single crochet, one decrease, repeat five times. And I will catch you up for next round. Great, so I will continue here. Now for the next round, you see, you, you will work 10 single crochet. So for round number 13, you will just work 10 single crochet. Work your rounds and I will come back for adding stuffing material here and preparing for sewing. Super good, this is how it should be looking like. You add a bit of stuffing material. You don't need to add too much of it, so it's fluffy and nice. And now we'll work for closing this. So it's easier for us to sew it, and it's also more floppy, the arms, it can move better. So here you will work four single crochet so you will crochet one side together with the other okay so you insert the needle in the first stitch and in the one stitch before the last one i will show you after what i mean here so okay so just crochet together one side to another you will make four single crochet so crocheting two stitches together four times it will make it will use eight stitches right so here the last one and because we have 10 single crochet this means that at the beginning here and at the end here there is one single crochet in the corners so that's why you are crocheting four single crochet make another one following the same instructions and now let's start sewing and preparing our bear before move on to the blanket. So here I will show you how to uh, find the best position, how to fasten in the best position the assembly of the bear. So I use uh, pins to find the best position for me, but if you want the exact location where I'm sewing everything, there is uh, in the description below, in the written pattern, everything, all the rows and the stitches, exact position that I sew everything, okay? So here what you do is you grab one stitch from the piece you are sewing it, in this case is the ear, and one stitch from the head. Okay, and then again, one stitch, okay, let me make this more bright, one stitch from the ear, and one stitch from the head. And because you have 18 stitches in the ear, you will do this 18 times, all right? Every time you grab one stitch from the ear and one stitch from the head, okay? So 
super good. You can see it here where it's sewing. I will continue working here. When you arrive in the front part, make sure to sew it making this uh, turn here and everything will be fine. Okay, this is the finished sewing piece. You can see here in more detail how it's done. I will just fasten off this leftover of yarn and I will sew it the other year of the camera. Great, so this is how it should be looking like. Now you do the same process for the arms. So you fasten with pins, you use the central part as a guide, like this, and you sew it in the same way as we sew it the ears. So you see here the arms, it's already sewed, and this is how it should be looking like. The central part here and the arms, and you see it can move the arms in the nice way. All right, now for the snout. Again, the same process. You find the best position that it looks symmetrical to you. You fasten with pins and you start sewing it. Take one stitch from the snout, one stitch from the head. But before you finish, you see all the stitches all the way through sewing it. And I have this opening space before finish completely sewing it. You add a bit of stuffing material here. Now the snout is nice and you can finish sewing the snout. Okay. I will continue off the camera and here we have the finished little bear. So I start now embroidering the nose. Here you see I made some knots at the end of this piece of yarn. So you introduce your needle in the corner of the snout. Pull tight. And if some stuffing material come off, like let me just hide it. This will secure that our embroidery will be on its place. It won't come off, okay? If some material is um, coming off, you just either pull them inside, push them to inside, or you just pull it a little bit out, okay? Now what you're going to work is you will make a triangle here, okay? So let's work in the triangle first. I'm hiding a little bit of this stuffing material. So here is the central part of our snout and the other corner of the nose here. So here we are working just a triangle which will be the guiding for us so okay this is super good now i need to finish this triangle and then i will show you the next step Good, now I finished my triangle and now I start embroidering lines inside this triangle, okay? So we will cover the light brown that is under this triangle, you see, that it's in between, by making straight lines. And that's it, you will make straight lines all the way until 
the edge of the triangle. Okay, so I will continue making all my lines here and I will catch you up and show you how is the finished result once you finish all the lines. So here I am, you see all the lines, straight lines, you make a lot of straight lines, you cover all this brown part under and you finish here in the middle of the triangle where you're going to pull this string down here. And this will finish the embroidering of the notes. All right. And we'll move on to embroider the sleeping eye of this bear. Okay. This is looking very nice. You secure your yarn and you cut off. Now, for the, to embroider the eyes, I will show you here how it's done. Again, you make some knots in the beginning of the yarn, so this will help to not to, uh, the yarn to be loose. And I will make a sleeping eye here. So I will show you all the way on how it's done. The first one and the second one I will do off the camera. Good, so I hope this was helpful to you to show you the guide how I make this sleeping eye. It's very easy to make and I really hope you enjoy. I will make the other one off the camera and I will come back here so we can start crocheting the blanket, okay? I always make some small adjustments so it's looking nice. Great, so this is the final bear. Now let's move on for the blanket. Here for the blanket I changed my crochet hook to a 5.5 millimeters and I will start with a slip knot, okay? This is how I start my crochet toys. 
Maybe it's different than how you start or you have a better technique, but this is how I make and I think it's a very fast and easy way. Now what you're going to do here is you will work with chain stitch. So here you will chain 38 chains. <laughs> All right. So yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, through the loop. Yarn over inside the loop and on and on until you have 38 of these chains, okay? So this is our 38 stitches and now we will count here two chains and you will start crocheting in the third chain of the foundation, okay? So it's this one. So here, yarn over inside the chain, yarn over inside the first two loops, yarn over inside the remaining two loops. This is a herringbone half double crochet. Okay, yarn over inside the loop, yarn over, pull it through and through the second loop, yarn over again inside the two loops of the needle. Herringbone half double crochet. Again, one more time, yarn over inside the chain, yarn over inside the chain and in the first loop, yarn over inside the two loops. Okay, now you will work this all the way until the end. I will do a couple of more times here. And I will catch you up once I reach my last chain, so we'll do it together, okay? Herringbone half double crochet. There is a bunch of video tutorials for it, if mine is not uh, clear for you. In the written pattern, I show you the gouge measurements along with the sizes. So if you want to make it a larger blanket or a smaller blanket, you can use uh, increasing the chains, increasing the length. There is all in the written pattern, okay? So I will catch you up. Here you can add a stitch marker in the first stitch if you are a very new beginner, so you know what is the first stitch here. Okay, so this is the foundation chain already made with the herringbone half double crochet. This is the last chain of the foundation row. So inside the chain, inside my first loop. And finish the herringbone, the half double crochet. You chain two. And then you turn your work like this and you'll start working the second round. So here the chain does not count as one stitch. You, can, you start working in the first, first stitch of the round. So these are the chains and this one is our first stitch, okay? You will work inside every stitch of the foundation row, which is this one that we are working on it. Okay, so here again you proceed normally taking this first stitch. So yarn over the needle inside the stitch, grab the two loops of the stitch here, you see, yarn over, pull it through the stitch inside the first loop, yarn over inside the two loops of the needle. 
And this is how we start the second round. Okay, yarn over inside the stitch, yarn over, pull it through inside the first loop, yarn over inside the two loops of the needle. Great. So this is just repetition. Now you will work all the way through to the end, and I will catch you up then. What you're gonna work here is you will make always, like for this blanket, always you will work three rows of only hairy bone half double crochet and the fourth row you will start introducing the other color and making the bubble stitch okay so i will catch you up for uh, turning these rounds all right So, okay, now I will do off the camera all the way to the end and I will catch you up here. So, once again, I am at the ending of the second round. Yarn over inside the last stitch. That's why I ask you to add a stitch marker here if you are a new beginner and it's um, a bit uh, difficult for you to find your first first stitch. So, add the stitch marker here. And you do the same thing, you chain two, turn your work, and start the third round here on the first stitch. Okay? Always working with herringbone half double crochet. That's super good. So now I will stop here, I will continue working this round off the camera. And I will catch you up for round number for the roll number four, which is when we'll work with the bubble crochet. Great. So this is the last stitch of the third round, the third roll. I'm confusing because we were just working crochet toys a couple of minutes ago. Okay, so again, chain two, always chain two at the end. Turn your work, and now we start the repetitions of this blanket, okay? Here you will work first four uh, hairy bone half double crochet and one bubble stitch, and from then on you work eight hairy bone half double crochet and one bubble stitch all the way until the end. No, oh, wait, one, two, three. Yes, and I am in the fourth stitch now. So before you finish the fourth stitch, you introduce the new color. And you finish your, four, your fourth herringbone half double crochet. All right. Now we will work with the bubble crochet. So here is the stitch, you see. And here you will yarn over inside the stitch. Yarn over. A yarn inside the two loops, yarn over the needle, needle inside the stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over inside the first two loops of the needle, yarn over inside the stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over inside the first two loops. So you continue working with the double have like double crochet it will be here inside the two loops you'll make this repetition five times okay pull the yarn yarn over inside the two loops so here you should have you should have a total of five stitches plus the chain that it was there before you change your color again, yarn over inside all the loops. Okay, and you continue working with herringbone half double crochet, and I will carry along this stitch here.
and that's it. Now you make eight herringbone half double crochet before you make again another bubble stitch. I will walk you through the bubble again. Let's move fast forward here. Take a look in the description. There is a link to the written pattern so it can make more clear for you. So here I am again at the stitch number eight. So at the end of the stitch, I change the color and I start working the bubble stitch. So yarn over, inside the stitch, pull the loop in, yarn over, inside the two loops. Yarn over again, inside the stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over inside the first two loops. Yarn over inside the stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over inside the first two loops. And you repeat this again, two more times until you have five stitches halfway through. Okay, so here we have the five stitches, bringing to the front, yarn over inside all the loops. And here we have the bubble, and we continue working, carrying along this yarn, all right? Super good. So here I will do the repetitions and I will catch you up just to show you how we will continue working with this blanket. Take a look in the description for the written pattern. So this is the front side of the blanket, the right side. Okay, so here I will just want to show you uh, for the next three round, uh, three rows, you will again work just half uh, herringbone single crochet and then you will do one more row, round, row with the bubble. So you will repeat rows one to four, six more times, so we will have a nice square shape for the blanket. Here I just want to show you that you will work with a half herringbone uh, crochet here, normally as you would, you know, above the bubble stitch. Great. And that's it. You repeat rows one to four, six more times, okay? And that's it. This is the pattern for this blanket. I hope I explain clear enough for you. If not, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below, okay? I will meet you now at the end of the repetitions. So here I am. I did all the way through the blanket, so I follow I, the rows one to four, I repeat six times, and I am here now, you see, I carry the yarn along and I cut the yarn, I am now at the last stitch, last hairy bone half double crochet here, and I will change my color again here to the your contrast color in the case is the dark brown. So we just crochet single crochet around this blanket, okay? All the way around here. So here you will work 35 single crochet around the blanket. So here you will make single crochet in every space you feel it here, in one round, another one here, another one here. And you will continue working like this, you should make around 35 single crochets here. 
Don't worry if you make it more, it's better than making less. So your blanket will not be shrinking, you know, it will be more loose. This is what we want. All right. So I will work with single crochet here in the corners, uh, in the sides, and I will meet you up once I reach the corner. Okay. Good, so here I am in the corner. What's going to happen here? You see, this is the foundation chain. So here, you will make one more single crochet inside the same space you make your last single crochet. You will chain two. And you start working in the chains in the foundation chain of the blanket making single crochet so inside of every chain here you will make a single crochet okay and we have here a nice corner so that's how you're gonna work and again you will repeat the same process in all corners, all right? Once you reach the finished corner, you'll make basically the same. Here we have the last stitch here, you see? So you make two single crochet inside the last chain. You chain one and you join with a slip stitch in the first stitch ever you made here in the contour, all right? And that's it. Our corners are ready. Now I will show you how to cut the yarn and fasten off and you should make in all of this uh, yarn that we have in the wrong side of the blanket, okay? So here you cut the yarn, you pull it through, you insert in a sewing needle. And you start fastening off. Here I introduce my needle in the first stitch, just to bring this uh, yarn to the back side, to the wrong side of the blanket. And I secure this first with a normal little uh, knot. So this is how I make. You can fasten off your project any way you like. This is how I like to finish off mine. I made a little knot and then I wave in my yarn inside the blanket, okay? So here I will leave showing you how to how I wave in. This maybe I'm doing too much, securing too much, but this is up to you. Cut the yarn, and now you should make the same thing with all the leftover here that you have, all your endings, okay? For this one, you make some knot here, and you can either pull this yarn all the way here, all right? Now, we will sew 
in the central part of the blanket the bear okay so this is the middle of the blanket we have a square size blanket all right what i'm gonna do here is i already take some piece of yarn i made some simple knot at the beginning so it's secure you will sew it all the way on the back here of our bear head <laughs> our bear head okay so our yarn is already secured here and i wanted to sew it here in the middle of the blanket you can sew it this bear head wherever you want so what you're gonna make here now is that you see this is the central part of the blanket and i will uh, secure this i will fasten this head with a bunch of pins okay as many pins best for the securing the blanket and you will start sewing it. So here I'm going to show you how I hold the love, how I hold it together, the blanket with the head, you know. And as always, as before you were sewing it, you will take every stitch from the head and sewing together with the blanket. It's a very simple process. It's really easy to make. And because you're using all the same colors, it's really seamless. So here I will leave you watching how I make, how I sew it my head, and you can make it anyhow you want it. But this is how I hold everything together. And the pins uh, helps a lot. So really fasten the head with pins first, because this really will help you. All right, look at this. It's already very well fastened. I can now, like some of the pins I didn't remove while sewing it, which means that it was very nice, well put. And here we have our Love Bear, so beautiful and very nice suit. You can see on the wrong side, you can barely see where the head is sewed. Okay, I really hope you enjoy this pattern. It is is very hard for me to make. It's the first time that I'm doing a shooting a pattern like this. So I hope you like and I see you on the next time. Bye!